Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I'm Nuff, and last time, if you don't remember, if you haven't watched the videos, uh, I had two other people with me. However, they're not able to uh, record with me today, so I'm going to be doing this one solo. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. I wished, uh, I wished that it could have been different, but there was no other way. And it's been so long since I've played this, so I figured, hey, might as well go ahead All and do a, a recording. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, no maybe, matter how hard Stanley it. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Ooh. Ooh, it's all these. I can click on them. Click on the... What is that? Input received. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I don't know. Can I keep clicking it? Maybe. Maybe not. I can't. I don't know what else to do. Let's see. When Ooh, Stanley tools. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, yeah, I guess. There's a lot of detail in this game. I'm glad. It makes me happy. Yet there was not a single uh -oh. person here either. Oh no, Feeling there was a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley oh, walked man, I'm not even letting him finish what he has office. to say. Poor guy. What's over here? The executive bathroom. Yeah. Aw. Oh, I can't go in. What the heck? Eh, whatever. Now, maybe? New sequence of... No, I still can't. I wanted to go to the bathroom. I have to go... Can I go in here? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Yeah, there's nothing Shocked, here. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Could it be what he could not the narrator? Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh no, I couldn't have possibly have known this. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. That's awesome. Amazing. He stepped into okay. the newly opened passageway. You know what? I don't think I did. I think I just stood here in the office. I'm pretty sure that's what Stanley did. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what Stanley did. Alright, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Let's continue on with the story, shall we? You sure! Why not? Let's go down. Down into the dark abyss we go. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Yeah. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Yeah. Why did he feel this now? I don't when know. for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Or would it? Would it? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh. Uh. Okay. I'll accept it. Just this once. The lights rose on an Whoa. enormous room packed with it's television It's like I've not screens. ever seen this before. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah. I had the strength to find out. The other Stanley did too. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Fire. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's what was my number? The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That's very depressing. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Uh, that his emotions much. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I mean, when you get right down to it, yeah, that's no. pretty much. Oh, he never mind. He refused to believe it. Yeah. He couldn't accept it. No. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was yeah. unthinkable. Unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Let's do it. Or I could turn it on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate uh, the controls, did you? Maybe. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Uh, control? yeah. 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 That's oh, all I ever Stanley, wanted. Was control. <laughs> you but you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh, You really? were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Oh. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event uh. that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Oh, ah, now this is making things okay. a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. Uh, you are the star. It's oh, your story. Okay. Now. There's a big countdown. Shape it to your heart's desires. Two minutes. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little what time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb what does goes this do? off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time uh, to talk about you, about me. Where we're going, what all this means, uh, I barely know where to start. Does, does these do What's anything? That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Uh, A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Wait, did I just all turn? Right, oh my good. god, I just turned you're the freaking thing off, didn't I? I'll tell you exactly charge, what charge, 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 charge. I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Dang it. Of course, right, that was see. merely on, in this instance of two? the story. Two? Sometimes I when I press tell two? It, I simply okay. let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then two. dying alone. Okay. Now Other what? times, I let the office sink into the two? ground. I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think it's helping inside, me at all. Or I let it burn to a crisp. Please. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. God. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. No, it won't. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. What does that I'm do? I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Oh, or not. thanks. These yeah, are thanks. precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing no, right now? No, I don't. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, yeah. look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, Maybe clicking can... on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this God. door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? Because I want to get out. Beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No, that's why I'm running around. <laughs> what is that? Stanley. What did I just do? You're in Blue? for quite a disappointment. Blue? But here's a spoiler for Green? you. Green? That timer Blue? isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's Red? just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. 
to see you made humble. Green. This is not uh, a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this uh, world. Oh, I get I'm it now. First, C please. So you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. This isn't even 30 fair. 30 until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown. Oh my god, the console was disabled. Your frail life. Or will you let it go peacefully? Uh. Another choice. Make it count. Oh, dear. It's all the same to me. All Just apart let me go. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Bye. Oh, God. Okay, so that really, really sucks. I. D God dang it. I kind of want to do that again because I feel like there's something special about that. Something, something special about that particular ending. And we're back. Oh boy. Well, that was fun. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Um... What? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I couldn't. You're right. Why did he say that? Okay. Input. Gotcha. I still don't know what these do. What the little uh, computers do. I don't know. I think I might just try to find every single one of the endings on this. Because that would be really cool. When Stanley came to a set, set of two, two open doors, doors he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his, on his right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Okay. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge yeah. first, just to admire it. Oh, yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Ah, yes. Truly a room mm, worth admiring. No. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did I, though? Did I? Yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Fine. Yet there was not to. a single person here either. Tips Feeling for not getting fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. I've already done it in another episode, so I'm not going to bother staircase, doing it again. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can I go into the bathroom this time? Oh, I can. Awesome. Let's see. Oh. I've got the feeling. Money's for stealing. But, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. What? Is he gonna, like, steal a purse or something? Uh. I didn't do that. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. It has a very large, um. area of clicking, I guess. Oh, I can go in here now. That's cool. Oh, and look at the panda. Is that a gun to the panda's head? What the heck, dude? That's freaking crazy. There's nowhere to go but up, am I right? <laughs> I see an elevator. Alright, yeah, let's go up. Yeah. Hmm. I can get... I can get, uh... Rhythmical to this. But yeah. Okay, so I sat in here for about ten minutes and nothing happened. So I'm just gonna keep going because. That's a lot better than uh, sitting in there for ten minutes. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned yeah, I know. to discover Two, not an eight, indication four, of any five. human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story <laughs> as quickly as possible, he didn't even That's have awesome. a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No, I didn't. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. 
so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Ah oh man, this this playthrough has been nothing but music. Hmm. Hope this isn't copyrighted. I really hope it's not. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward okay. into the opened passageway. Yeah. Can I, why could I just walk over that? That doesn't make sense. Let's see. Oh, I've already went that way, by the way, and there's nothing over there, so... No use of, uh, trying. Back down the elevator we go. And here we are, in the elevator. Or, not in the elevator, in the bottom of the elevator thing. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control no, Facility. No, I went to the escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you. I'm just going to keep going. That's what I'm going to do. The door behind him was not shut. Oh, really? Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, I'm fine. I like this way. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes, I am. Whoa. Here I am. Whee! Where am I going? Whoa! Ow. <laughs> My toesies. Oh, oh. Oh, As the oh, machine whirled oh, into motion oh, and Stanley uh, was inched uh, closer and closer to uh, his demise, he reflected that his life can... had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley what? can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. I don't. Forever in his narrow I don't want to. What this is. I don't want to get Perhaps crushed. his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned Come on, and man. willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No, I didn't. I don't want to die yet. Please. Please, don't do this. No! Oh. Stop. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. Who is as that? Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool, I guess. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game oh, back sure. in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Uh, I guess we're going to try to kill Stanley or when something. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death huh? becomes meaningless, making life the same. Is this the office? Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, uh. Okay. Office computers. Oh. It's like a guitar hero. I don't understand. Is this like behind the scenes stuff or oh uh okay. Oh, so this must be how they made everything or whatever. They must have like yeah, like go from there to there into that. I understand now. Ooh, that looks nice. I'll go up there in a second. What's this? Oh, there's the mind control for Does that sound plausible to you? Narrator or narration outtakes. Okay. I stood on the what? I stood on the what? Okay. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna go back up. Oh boy. Gotta go back up. And I'll see some stuff. Ooh, look at that. 
What's that? Monitor room elevator. I didn't get the buttons though. Did you guys just see that? I don't know what happened, but it just turned off. Oh. Countdown desk? What? One of the desks from earlier. Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. I see. What is this? Countdown room. Okay. Oh. That looks like a very ending type thing. I'm not gonna go in there yet. Gotta check out the rest of the stuff. Like the office, or the desks. And the... What's that? Okay. Um, okay. Oh, narrator emails, that's cool. I guess. I wonder if those are real. The war zone. Um. Early in the development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Well, that sucks. Oh, I see... Okay. I see there's like a Tron-esque thing, I guess. Oh, that's the alien base. Okay. Well, that would have been cool. I wish they would have kept it in there. This copying machine. Uh, the maintenance room. <laughs> oh. oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Oh, How they wish to anyone. control one another. How they both wish to be free. Uh. Okay. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. No. I can't see anything. Uh, but listen to me. Oh. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Uh, Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone uh, else's path. Stop now. It's your only true choice. Okay. Whatever you do, choose uh, it. Don't let time choose for you. Uh, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I don't want to die. 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 Uh, oh god, I don't know what happens if, mm, I, I kind of want to see, maybe it'll, I don't know, maybe the narrator will, like, change his mind, and I don't want to take the chance, I don't want to take the chance, but she did say the only way to uh, win the game was to press escape and quit the menu, so I'm going to try that. <sighs> Guess not. Well, thank you guys for watching The Stanley Parable Part 3. I will be making another episode of this, multiple probably, and I guess, you know, try to find all the endings. Uh, this is actually a super duper fun game, and it's kind of like a mind-blowing game too, because it's it's got so many different things. Every time that you play the game, as things change, and it's just like... I don't know. They really accounted for a lot of stuff in this game. It's so simple, but so complex at the same time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you uh, want to tell me any of the endings that you've got, put it in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and subscribe because you don't have a reason not to. Also, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. And thank you for watching once more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.